So Disney Plus Day was last week, and no one's talking about this, the real sequel to Willow. Let's chat about it today here on The Geek Corner. Hey there, everybody. It's Rev Kev. Welcome back to the channel. Really appreciate everyone who's a part of the community here, everyone who subscribes, everyone who likes, everyone who comments, and everyone who becomes a member. It really means a lot to me. So last week, while I was away, they had Disney Plus Day, and a bunch of trailers came out for Marvel. We got a little vignette interview about Obi-Wan Kenobi, and we got a behind-the-scene meet-the-cast for the new Disney Plus series, Willow. So the sequel to the 1988 Ron Howard film uh, that was written by George Lucas. Now this is a continuation of the Willow story um, that was set out in that movie. And I haven't seen a lot of people chatting about that, that vignette movie, uh, uh, video that was made with Warwick Davis, you know, introducing the new cast. And I guess a lot of people aren't talking about it because um, it was pretty cringy. <laughs> <laughs> I was really, really honest. It was like, for some reason, Warwick Davis just kind of came across as like a pompous, crusty old actor uh, who thinks he's better than everybody. And that was heartbreaking for me, to be honest, because Warwick Davis has always represented that uh, that that just love of Star Wars. And, I mean, he, he won like a million dollar lottery ticket as a kid, right? He was a fan of Star Wars and then he got to be an actor in Return of the Jedi as a kid. So, like, and he's always been so positive and always, you know, just light up the stage in everything that he does. And so I just have so much respect for Warwick Davis. But this just kind of... <sighs> It's like, he, it's like he was representing me more, <laughs> like feeling the way I feel about Star Wars, just feeling all <laughs> and crusty about it. Like, oh, dude, not you too. But anyways, I want to talk about this book here, this book here, Shadow Moon, which was written by George Lucas and Chris Claremont. This came out in 1996, and this is the official sequel to Willow. There was a trilogy of books that was written back in the uh, late 1990s, early 2000s by George Lucas and Chris Claremont to continue the story that George Lucas set forward. Now, let me just read the back cover to you because this sounds amazing. Now, I'm not wearing my glasses, so my apologies. It says, 13 years have passed since the epic battle of Nokmar. Well, sorry, so a little bit about Let's start this over. 13 years have passed since the epic battle of Nakmar freed the land from a tyrant's yoke. This is this battle against Queen Bad Morda that took place. But in the time since, the countryside has been wrecked by war and chaos. According to prophecy, there is but one hope of deliverance. The princess, Alora Danin. Raised friendless and alone, she has grown into a royal spoilt brat. Love that. Love that description of this heroine, this main character that you would not expect, right? And then here it continues. It says, the fate of the great realm rests in her hands and she couldn't care less. Love it. So good. And so it continues, it'll take a stranger named Thorn Drumheller to fight the opposing forces of unimaginable malevolence. But first, he must strike a devil's bargain and resurrect a powerful warrior from her soulless sleep, bringing her into a world of blood and horror where shadows have declared war on the light. Now, honestly, I have not read this yet. Uh, I bought the book back in 1996, uh, but lost it in a basement flood. And so I managed to stumble on this one at a secondhand thrift store, uh, and it's in beautiful, perfect condition. Um, so I'm going to be reading this and I'm going to be doing videos about this book leading up to the release of Willow on Disney Plus because I'm willing to bet what I just read is not what we're going to be getting from Disney Plus. That's just my hunch. <laughs> if we go following what experience has taught us, we're not going to get George Lucas's sequel to Willow. We're going to get someone else's retelling and reimagining of Willow. And it could be good or it could not be good. 
So we'll compare and contrast the two of them. So I hope you join me on this journey. If you read this book, would love to know what you thought about it. Put that down in the comment section below, but don't put any spoilers yet. We'll save those for those other videos. Wait until I read them and then we can spoil it all together. <laughs> and until the next video, man, just again, really appreciate each and every one of you being a part of the community here. Again, check out membership. It's a great way that uh, you could be a blessing to other people in my community and around the world, as well as uh, doing a little bit of exercising together. But check that out and as well hit that like and subscribe really means a lot to me so until the next video god bless you and we'll talk to you soon take care everyone